The Genshin Impact Waifu Tier List. Oh wow, my. Barack, you actually made it wait. this time? Of course, how could I miss out on hanging out with the boys? Well, last time when I was streaming Genshin, you never showed up. Well, that was because it was an L stream. Because I was busy completing my weekly quests in Tower of Fantasy. Oh, I still yeah. can't get over the fact that you are still playing that dead game. You agree with me, right, Joe? Sleep. Um, Joe, are you there? <laughs> this guy really lives up to that Sleepy Joe nickname, huh? Anyways, let's just start without him. I'm sure he'll wake up as soon as I mention anything lowly related. Huh? Yeah. I heard lollies. What happened? Joe, are you sure you aren't a lollycon? <laughs> Anyways, let's start already. I can already feel my attention span deteriorating by the second. Okay, but before we start, I'm just going to put aside all the lolly characters. Excuse me, but I am heavily against that idea. Shut up, Joe. All the lollies are under age. Nahida is over 500 years old. Yeah, Shut up, Joe. And then Nahida's old and Chi Chi is dead. Now let's start with Aloy. D tier. Aloy. I, I get, as a Genshin waifu, I don't think she really counts, but if she was to count, I guess you could say D or C tier. Um, D tier. Yeah, no need for further explanation. Yes. I agree with that one. Next, we have Amber. Amber, mm, adventurer. She's nice. Uh, yeah, she's a friendly girl. I think for dating, you know, waifu, uh, probably B tier. The first character that we ever meet in Genshin. Got to be an easy S tier. Well, uh, technically, first character we meet is Paimon. Here for me. Are you sure it's not because she looks young? No, isn't it obvious? It's she looks like probably like 18. Like, yeah. Because okay, of her, let's I not guess. bring up the ages here, all right? <laughs> None of the ages of these characters are confirmed, remember? Uh, Agreed. Anyways, I place Amber in A tier. She's one of the characters I believe to have a? the best personality. I agree with Donald here. I mean, she's an adventurer type of girl. So if you're not really into adventuring, I don't think your relationship's going to work out. But all right. A tier it is. Now we have a yak. And let's be honest. If you're over here playing Genshin Impact, you're not no damn adventurer. I'll be honest. Um, Ayaka. Royalty. Nervous. Um, can be firm. Mm, as a waifu, it's going to be hard to honestly balance this relationship. Uh, with her duties as being royalty. But I think it'd be a nice, nice relationship. They're probably like A tier. I like low A tier, high B tier. Her forehead is looking brighter than Joe's presidency. Shut yeah. your mouth, Donald. At least I beat you in the 2020 elections. Okay, we need to speed things up here. Michelle's almost done baking me some lasagna and I don't want to miss mm. out on it. Oh, can I come over? No, you fat no. ass. Now just rank Ayaka. <laughs> B. Looks kind of mid to yeah. me, I'd say B. I also B agree. A. Now, Barbara. Barbara, oh, but she's famous. Uh, dating a famous girl? Oh my gosh, it's going to be absolutely insane. Her fans are going to be jealous of you. They're going to send death threats. Um, but Barbara, she's sweet. Church girl. Um, you know what they say about church girls? They're freaky as hell in bed. Uh, so, Barbara. I think A tier. Like, solid A tier. Barbara is, she's, she's adorable. Solid A tier for Oh, that reminds me. You guys ever heard of Barbara's curse removal? Huh? What? <laughs> Anyways, A tier? Looks like a B tier to me. What? I agree with Biden here. Seems pretty average. Nice singing, though. B tier it is. Yeah, she's, she has good singing. Now we have Beto. Beto. Oh, my God. Dominant. Uh, very aggressive. Attractive. Hmm. Honestly... This is the gym girlfriend. This is the girl that's going to go work out with you. If you guys want to go, if you want to go running, she's there. Definitely an outside type of girl. Of course, she has her own ship and all that. Um, she's in charge usually all the time since she commands a crew. As a waifu, Captain Beto. Strong women are attractive to me, so I give, I give Captain Beto an A tier. Easy S tier. I really vibe with I that pirate mommy. I, I, I do not mind an S tier for Captain Bay. That is fine. S tier is definitely fine. Energy, you know? Is it because you also do a lot of illegal things, Donald? <laughs> what the hell, Joe? D tier for me. I'm in between, so I'm just going to place her in A tier. Wait, okay. why is Diona That's on not really the Between D and S, A is not really between. You should have put in B. All right. Diona, uh, she owns a restaurant. We're going to ignore all the animal, animal stuff. If you're into animal shit... I don't want to know about it, but we're going to pretend her cat tail and ears aren't there um, and say she's just a, uh, she owns a bar, so she has a job. A lot of women don't have jobs. No, I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm fucking around. 
but she does work hard. Um, is she an alcoholic? I don't think she's an alcoholic. She just tells people to stop drinking a lot. So I don't know. Maybe I, I can't remember if she's an alcoholic or not. But if she is an alcoholic, I'm going to personally put her in C. If she's not and she just works at a bar, uh, Diona as a waifu? Honestly, like a C plus. <laughs> like, I, I don't see the appeal of being with Diona. I don't think it's going to be a good time. I don't like her personality on top of that. Uh, I say Diona's like a C tier. List. S tier. What? You heard me right. <laughs> what the? D tier, easily. Thoughts on Eula? Dummy. Eula, dude, she's the weird girl. Like, she's cute. She has great assets. But she's so fucking weird. Like, oh, I'm going to get my revenge. Blah, 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 blah. Like, girl, stop. It's not cute. It's not. It's fucking annoying. I wouldn't even want to be with her, like, as a friend. Like, you got to love this type of person from a distance. I'm going to go ahead and give... Um, the fuck is her name again? I just forgot. Like, what? Sorry. You heard me right. What uh, the? D tier, easily. Thoughts on Eula? Eula. Uh, we're going to give Eula... Dumb gonna give you love a fucking d bro i mean like and it hurts to put her in d because she is attractive right but her crazy i'm not into crazy women some people love that shit i don't see why if you ever date a crazy girl congratulations you stuck with that bitch for life even if you break up she is going to be there so enjoy that i'm gonna have to give her a d for me let me think a d plus whatever c minus that, that's her lane Waifu, easy S tier. I agree. Thick thighs do save lives. S tier it is. Looks Enjoy like we it. got fish. Enjoy that S tier because she's going to be with you forever. And a lot of people like this, they're going to be like, yeah, she's dummy thick. What, what happens when the next thick girl comes around? Guess what? You look over there, you look just might slice your fucking body in half. She's not going to cut your head off. She's going to slice you in half. Till next. Official, she's fucking crazy too. Um... She's cute, and that's about it. At least she's pretending. I feel like Eula's crazy is legit. Fischl is like, she's faking it for her own mental health reasons, right? So, like, she's crazy, but it's, like, literally something she can turn on and turn off, and she chooses to leave it on for her self-esteem or whatnot with her parents and stuff. I don't remember the quest. I thought it was kind of cool, but it's like, okay. Um... I think she's C tier for me personally. D tier. Why? Is it because you fall asleep listening to her paragraph long dialogues? Though her dialogue <laughs> is long, I think she's quite an interesting character with all the references she makes. B tier. I yeah, all right, sure. I'm fine with D or low B, but I think C. I agree. Ganyu is next. S Ganyu is an S tier, like besides the horns, whatever. She has the assets. She has a great personality, very friendly, thick enough to kill a dragon with her ass. Uh, like she takes her she has a very a very responsible duty in her job um and she takes it seriously she so she is like a workaholic uh so you probably won't really even get to go on dates like that at least not very frequently so the time you do get together you're gonna have to cherish it um because you just won't get that much with her because her her duties so uh ganyu i want to put her in s tier but you got to think about this as an actual like waifu waifu right not just damn she thick as hell damn i would love to fuck her like there's gonna be there's gotta be more than that than just oh i just want to fuck them like a wife is some it's not something you just fuck and it's gone a wife it's something that that you fuck and it's there all the time your wife is always with you almost always with you you know but your wife is there OK, it's not just a one time hit it or quit it or hit it 100 times and quit it like that is something that should be there for the rest of your life on you for the rest of your life. You're really going to have to balance work life. And that's going to be really challenging for a lot of people, especially if they really love her. They're going to be like, oh, just take off work today or oh, call in sick. That's not going to happen with her. He's going to have to go save the fuck day or paperwork, whatever it is. So I think a tier. S tier. S tier. No questions asked. She's literally the goat. Now we got her. <laughs> Truly the. Um. Uh, what is her name? She, S tier. She, no she, questions she, asked. She's literally Shang the goat. Shang now we got Hu Tao. Hu Tao. Fuck. I haven't played Genshin in like three months. I hope it shows. 
Um, Hu Tao, her job is kind of weird. It involves the dead, but she's a very fiery character, pun intended. Um, she is very positive. She is a very nice girl. Takes her job seriously. If you're not really into, uh, I say, uh, morbid jokes, you probably wouldn't like this relationship. And that's pretty much her character. She's nice. She makes jokes. And she messes with spirits. So if you're scared of your house being haunted, too bad. Because, yes, yeah, she plays with ghosts all the time. <laughs> but at least she's there to, to pretty much get rid of them. Um, let's say Hu Tao as a waifu. I think... I think A tier. A tier, and I can argue B tier for if you're scared of ghosts. If you're scared of spirits and ghosts, probably wouldn't want to be in a relationship with this. Truly the best waifu in Genshin, and no one can tell me otherwise. Who? What do you mean who? who? Asked. Ah, Joking ah. aside, easy S tier. Now that's a good one, Joe. Gene is next up on the list. Seriously. All right. <clears throat> Let's be honest. Gene has a very huge responsibility. And she is very serious, but underneath the seriousness, you can tell that she has a fine spirit. She's nice. She looks after her sister, looks after all of Mondstadt because she was placed in that duty. She just, she works hard. She's a, the same reason why I would say Gan Yu or Lady Ningguang is an S tier is the same thing for Jin, a Jean. They're beautiful, attractive, strong women, and they're courageous in their leaders. But at the same time, the work-life balance is going to be an issue. Like, Jean didn't even want to go to the, the Apple Archipelago. She only went because uh, uh, Klee was going. And she was like, damn, we really do got to look after Klee, though. So, all right, let's go. So she wasn't even looking forward to it like a vacation. It was more like work. And then Barbara was like, well, we're here on the beach. Let's get on the swimsuit. And it's like, okay, sure. So Jean, I personally would say like S tier, a great woman overall, but to be married with the work life balance is going to be an issue, especially for somebody that leads armies. So A tier, possibly B tier, just because like literally she's like the leader of a whole fucking city. Um, so good luck getting any real personal time that does not involve work. Yeah. Serious waifu material, S tier. I disagree. This guy really gonna diss all the tall female characters? It's just preferences, Barack. Never heard of that before. <laughs> well, your preferences kind of suck, not gonna lie. Let's just leave it as A tier and move on. Kishing is next. Now this cat girl- Kishing, I'm not really into her. Um, she seems like a sweet girl. but She also has a busy work. And she's like lower ranking. Um, then Ganyu, Ganyu, right? They're, they're, are they the same rank or is Ganyu a little higher? I don't know, but I know Ganyu does have favoritism with the crane, uh, crane goddess, whatever. So, uh, I mean, I think she could be A tier. I definitely think she could be A tier. Just for me personally, I'm just not into her. So I would say C tier for me because one, I'm not really interested in her and two, the work-life balance is just gonna be an issue. Girl Kishing was my first waifu when I first started this game and forever will be S tier. Plus, she's also got one of the best selections of fan art on Pixiv. I can agree with that. And Pixiv? now look at that. Klee is next. Klee. Okay, as a wife, that's an automatic no, right? So automatic D tier. But let's look at the actual character. She's funny. She's fun. But she's absolutely dangerous. I mean, she's a child, right? So she's dangerous. It throws around explosives. Like, overall... Even if she grows up, if she still has the same mentality, even if she was fucking 25 years old, she would still be dangerous and I would still want to avoid her. So automatic D tier. Easy. But she's a kid, so I wouldn't even put her on the list. I don't even know why she's up. S tier. Now, I would normally say D tier, but I kind of like those jumpty dumpties. Kind of reminds me of those airstrikes. Oh, not YouTube. <laughs> those airstrikes. Oh, my God. No questions. <laughs> Sounds fair. Now we got Lisa. Lisa, uh, she is... A librarian so her work isn't that strenuous but i know i know she does stuff for monster um but her job is literally in the library so if you wanted to stop by during lunch hang out for a little bit talk whatever you know lisa is a super huge flirt so how do you feel about your wife flirting with other men really depends on if you're going to put her in s tier a tier or even c or d tier right if you're into your woman talking to other men that's totally fine. I do not care. Whatever. 
Whatever you and your woman do is none of my goddamn business. For me personally, I wouldn't be into it. I'd be like, hey, stop talking to him like that. Like, if you guys are cool being friends, uh, that's one thing. But calling him cutie and all this other shit, that's got to stop. Full sin. Um, so I, I would give Lisa, and she, she's thick as fuck, whatever. Like, you guys got to look beyond just thickness, okay? If you're trying to marry somebody, it's not just looks. You got to take, take in the personality and their career. That, that's how marriage should usually work. Usually works. Usually it's true love. True love trumps everything, right? I say they got to have a nice career so they're not relying on just me for money. I do not want to be the only one bringing the household. Um, they have to be like, they have to have some physical attraction. They have to have some femininity to them. And they, uh, overall, how much do I actually enjoy spending time with them? These are my four criteria, but there is a legendary fifth criteria called true love. I've been truly in love probably three times in my life, which is normal. I'm only 25, so I shouldn't be in, badly in love with people, like fucking 10, 20 people, right? So that's understandable. So to be madly in love, if you're madly in love with Lisa, you can look past her flirting with other men. She has a career and she's attractive. So I could see why people want to put her in A or S. Me personally, everything that I look at, for me personally, to be married to Lisa is an absolute C tier. It's just not for me. It's not for me. But it could be a, it could be for other people. Probably the worst wife on this list. D tier for sure. Oh, Damn. here he goes again. The fact that she's a librarian is kind of boring. Almost make, makes me want to doze off, you know? Of course, you of all people would find her boring. I already said why she's cool. Not sure what I expected, honestly. But honestly speaking, though, she does lack a little compared to those in S tier and A tier. C tier it is for me. I agree. Here we have Mona. Speaking of Mona. Mona, she's she don't got a she don't she has a job like reading fortunes whatever easy ass fucking job she literally does what her magic powers do. Um, she is really into astrology. So if you're into those girls that are like, oh, are you a Libra? I'm a Capricorn. Are you an Aries? Ill, get away from me. That depends on if you're really gonna fuck with uh, Mona. I think Mona overall as a waifu, she is um, she is alpha. She is like whenever she's talking with Fischl, she's like, Fischl, stop that bullshit. Like, talk to me normally. Like, she doesn't even really like going along with it. Um, but she is a good friend of Fischl. Like, most people would be like, uh, stop talking to me. But Mona sometimes just like whenever the travelers around, they will pretend whatever. Mona is definitely a good friend. Um, she's nice. Um, she's perceptive. So whenever Scarmouche showed up for the first time, everybody's like, oh, hey, what's up? She immediately knew, hey, this guy's on demon time. We gotta go. Like, she didn't even want to fight. She was like, we gotta go. So she's perceptive. I like that about her. She can take initiative. Um, so for marriage, I think Mona is definitely in a strong category for A. I don't know why. Me personally, I just think me and Mona would probably be a B. Like, it's definitely a good friendship. And maybe, like, a friends with benefits if she was even into that type of thing. But for marriage, I don't even think I could marry. So, yeah, I'd give her a B. And she wet. Mona, you guys ever seen Mona X Slime? Oh, not this what again, Donald. I may not have slime? seen it, but now you have piqued my interest. It's <laughs> decent, though. I give it A tier. A tier she goes, then. Looks like Ning Guang is next. Lady Ning Guang, so... Same thing with Jean, except Lady Ning Guang literally is like peak of uh, Li Wei. <laughs> well, you know, of course, uh, Zhang, Zhang, Zhang Li is. But, like when it comes to who's running this, who's running that, Jade, whatever, Jade Palace, Lady Ning Guang, she is the one. Whenever there's an event, Lady Ning Guang is involved. So Lady Ning Guang reminds me of dating a general. If you date a general, you got a lot of shit going on. Jean reminds me of dating like a major uh, or a lieutenant colonel or a colonel. She is definitely high rank, but there is still somebody above her. Even though they're not in town, there's still somebody above her. Ning Wong, she is peak. She is the, she is the, the star general. Um, technically, it's uh, fucking uh, Zhao, Zhao, Zhang Li, but no, you, Ning Wong is the face. So dating Lady Ning Wong, I think she's cool. She's classy, of course. She got the traditional Chinese. 
um, from outfit. But overall, Lady Ning Wong, she's very powerful. Um, and I'm not talking like her skills. What I'm saying, she is a powerful woman. The way she presents herself, the way she takes command, whenever that little war was going on, that battle, she takes control. I think she's very dominant. It's attractive to me. Um, but to marry her, honestly, like I said, man, work-life balance, that is a thing. Uh, so I'd give Lady Ningguang A tier. She can be an S, definitely, but A tier. It's going to be difficult. S tier, no doubt. But that's the perks when you date the general. She's in charge of everything. So if it's like, hey, I want to come see you. All right, I have t I have like 20 minutes. It's all right, come over. About it. Like, it's, it's fucking perfect, bro. Is, is perfect. Is it because she's rich? I think it's more because she no, knows how to build rich. a wall. Isn't that right, Don? <laughs> Couldn't have said it better myself. Seems kind of mid to me, though. Myself. C tier. I agree with Barack on this one. Why, I'll compromise. Wait, why did you give her C tier? Did it better myself. Seems kind of mid to me, though. C tier. She seems mid. That's it? Literally? Okay. I agree with Barack on this one. I'll compromise and place her in B tier. Noel, another S tier. Noel? Dude, I totally forgot she was in the game. Okay, Noel, she's a maid, so she has a job. Her duty isn't that strenuous, so work-life balance is probably going to be, like, the most simple <laughs> out of all of these, right? Because she's not in charge of anything. She's literally told to clean this and clean that. Um, she's adorable. She's super sweet. I think she's great as a girlfriend. I think she would be great as a girlfriend. As a wife... I'm not too sure. I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give Noel a tier as a girlfriend. I feel like this would be a great, you know, boyfriend girlfriend, great relationship. For marriage, I feel like she has to be doing more. Being a maid, she has to have like something else. I'm sure in the lore and stuff like that, you can read her hobbies. I'm not familiar with these characters' hobbies. Like I put down Genshin. And I've looked back, but it's like, damn, I'm really late on a lot of stuff. So is it re really worth me? I'm not too sure. So I'm going to give Noelle an A. But for waifu, I don't know. She not S tier is like, yeah, I'm going to marry her. Like, S tier is I would marry her, period. Surely you guys agree with me, right? While I do agree with you, she does lack the screen time and personality compared to all the other S tiers. I'll have to place her in C tier. I'm in the middle. I'd say B tier. B tier it is then. Now on to Chi Chi. S Chi Chi, she's undead. Uh, is she being controlled by the doctor? Yeah, because that's what the tag is like. Um, so she's not even yours, right? She belongs to somebody else. But Chi Chi, I think, is adorable, um, friendly, but she's dead. So it's like, unless you're into that, I'm not. So. I think she'd be a great friend. Even best friend. Like, I feel like you could tell Chi Chi literally everything. And she'll be like, that's cool. Wow, really? Oh, that's nice. I'm sure, I'm sure she could give actual great advice, but she just doesn't seem to need to give advice. So that's why I think Chi Chi as a waifu, like D tier, not even talking about it. Like, even, even girlfriend, I don't even think for me it's a D tier. But as a friend that you can confide in, 100%, I think she's be here as somebody you can tell all your issues with, complain about work, complain about life. She's definitely someone you can tell. Seriously, what is with you and your lowly complex? I, uh, um, I just like their designs. D tier. <laughs> now we have Rosaria. I kind of. Lady Rosaria. Um, she's hot. She is dedicated to her job, espionage. She's a maid, a maiden. Uh, what's it called? Uh, nun. She's a nun, nun, right? She's a combat nun. Um, Lady Rosaria, yeah, espionage, man. She knows all the secrets about everything. She's always there. She is thick as hell. I think overall, but I'm going to give Rosaria... I'm going to give Rosaria B because she's more dedicated to work than she is going to be dedicated to the relationship, and that's just... I missed pre-nerf Rosaria. What happened with her? She's got more changes to her character more times than Sleepy Joe's had in his oh, they, diapers. They okay, that her. was a bit. They changed her again? So maybe what I'm saying is not even canon anymore. I don't know. But the Rosaria I remember is definitely espionage, splinter cell, secret assassin type. But uncalled for there, Don. Barack, I'm putting her in B tier. Okay, here we have Shen He. Now Shen He. Um, 
I don't really know much about her besides being Chong Yu Ban. Literally all about her. I don't remember her personality type. I don't remember. She is such a bat when it comes to rememberability. She is cool with her uh, design and with her abilities. I would say those are cool. But when it comes to her personality, I just don't remember. I just don't know. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna say D because I don't rem I don't remember and I don't know. I don't even know her job. She might not even have a job. Like, I don't Let me know in the comments below. She's the true definition of the quote. If cryo, why hot? Looks too old for me. D tier. More like your opinion on this is D tier. Brock, put her in S tier. Agreed. Now we have sucrose. As sweet as she- Hmm, sucrose. The nerdy girl. Are you into the nerdy girl? If so, this, this is the S tier. Because she's smart. She takes her um, career very seriously, so she's career minded, and she's a she's a very nice woman. She's attractive. She's a genius. So if you're into the nerdy girl, definitely S tier, right? For me, dating. I think dating Sucrose is not even up. For, I'm not really up for dating Sucrose because she's smart, but she's maybe too smart for her own. Good. Like after her shyness goes away, I feel like she'd be down to talk all the time about whatever it is whether it's science or her job um maybe she's good at listening like if you talk to her about stuff she doesn't know so if i talk to her about youtube i'm pretty sure she'll want to listen all the time she actually reminds me of my friend joe shout out to you joe um joe is a girl her name is joe leave me alone anyways i didn't name her okay but i think for marriage I don't think sucrose is really it for me dating i honestly don't really think so i think i could only really be friends with sucrose. and if i have an issue with something or i need some type of advice about science i'm gonna go to sucrose for help that's literally all i can say about her so i'd say c tier she is i think sucrose lacks a bit of character at least from what i'm seeing i agree with donald on this one it feels like a c tier to me I do believe she deserves to be an A tier personally, but I can understand the low rating. I'll put her in C tier for now. Looks like we have Xiangling now. I like how they say for now, like they're gonna change it when they're not. Ooh, the cook? Okay, now this is the type of girl I like. I like a woman that can make some awesome different recipes. Not cook the same three to five dishes. I want something different. Sometimes I want the same chicken Alfredo, but sometimes I want something crazy, like some Tom Yum Goo. You from Thailand, you know what that shit is. That shit is spicy. Anyways, um, Xing Yan, I would say is honestly, damn, S tier. Fuck. Wow, I didn't even really think about it. Yeah, S tier. This is my S tier. She cooks. She's down for adventure, so she's probably down to go to the gym. Um, good for training. And yeah, the cooking is a big thing for me. She has a job. She's one of the most talented chefs, literally, in uh, Ma Ma uh, Tibet. So she's one of the greatest chefs we ever met. How can I say no to that, bro? That's literally wife material. So yeah, S tier. Next. Very mid. Nothing really stands out from her character other than her ability to cook. And that's how I like them. Bland and can cook. Agreed. Though Goba <laughs> does make this character a lot more interesting. We're only looking at the character, remember? Pets don't count. Did you seriously just call Goba? Damn, I forgot Goba's gonna be there too. Goba likes to eat everything, but it's a good thing Xing Yang cooks, so it won't be that big of a deal. I guess, having enough. Ah, okay, that probably knocked it down to an A tier, not gonna lie. I don't like her pet being everywhere. A pet? No, he was a god. Anyway, she's going into B tier. Now we have Xin Yan. I think she... Hmm, music girl. Okay, Xin Yan. She's sweet, but she's loud as hell. And it's just not my thing. Like, I like my peace and I like my quiet. I like to party too sometimes, but I don't need to be married to the rocker girl. And she loves spicy food. I'm not really a big spicy guy. So I, I would give her probably like C tier. She's a good like, hey, you wanna go party? A hundred percent, she's always down. So that's what I respect about her. She's always down to go party. I don't party a lot. So whenever I do call someone up, like, hey, you want to go party? I need someone that's like, yes. So I, I guess C tier for her. 
She deserves to be in at least B tier, considering her backstory. And now, such. wait a minute. I don't want some Antifa-looking gal anywhere above C tier. What the hell, Donald? I'm putting her in B tier just because you said that. L move there, Barack. L We're L almost move. done with Mondstadt and Leeway. Here's Yen Fei. Oh, bye. Yen Fei, the lawyer. Ooh, smart girl. She has a very, very important job talking about the law, legality. Definitely some interesting conversations. With And Faye. Uh, I mean, she's literally like the most normal person in the entire Genshin. She's literally a lawyer, and that's like it. She doesn't do anything crazy. She's not that big of an adventurer. Just takes care of the law. So A tier, uh, maybe S tier. Uh, for me, maybe S tier. I just got to probably think about it more, but definitely on the fence of her being a S or super high A. Biden is going to love this character. A lawyer who can save you from any case. Shut right. up, Donald. You're pointing fingers at the wrong person. Can we? Yeah, don't you got some uh, cases pending, Donald Trump? We all agree that she got, <laughs> got that the Chinese honeypot done caught you. Got them secret do uh, documents in Margot Lobby. Whatever the fuck is called. Goes into A tier. Agreed. Same. We now have Yao Yao next. I have no idea who the hell this is but I'm just going to put her into D tier. But I didn't even get a chance. To I don't want to. Yeah. Who the fuck is this? And yeah, that's a, I don't know, like a kid to me. That's a D. I hear another word from you, Joe. Now onto Yolan. She's P. Yolan. Mmm. An assassin. Okay. So same thing with Mondstadt. Here is our secret agent, except she takes her job way more. She's way more aggressive with her work. Okay. Uh, Rosaria is literally, okay, let me catch you slipping. Let me write it down. Elon is, let me actively pursue you, and then you're under arrest immediately. No due process. <laughs> uh, so, Elon, I, I, she's attractive on top of that. She is very skilled. Um, very serious character. Elon, Elon's like B tier. Maybe A tier, but I would think B tier. You're like, ain't nothing getting past her, bro. If you look at another female, she's going to be like, mm, I caught you. Use those strings or something. A slow down time or something. So I, I'm going to say BT. Peak waifu material. And she's also got that strong dommy mommy energy, too. I, for once, agree to that. Captain Just Mayo. admit that you guys want her to step on you already. Freaks. Honestly speaking, though, I feel the same. <laughs> I, knew I knew it. it. S tier it is. <laughs> Last but not least, we got Yun Jin. Yun Jin. Um... Traditional Chinese sings. She's cute. Mm. Okay, so when I said uh, Yin Fei was the, ormo the only normal person, I was wrong. This character. Uh, the first time we meet her, she's trying to sign up for a competition. So uh, she's pretty average. Uh, pretty average. But me and her, I really don't know. Ooh, like, I feel like it could work. Dating one marriage, I don't I I feel like I gotta get to know her more. Since I'm actually interested in getting to know her, I'm gonna give her A tier. I am actually interested to learn about her. And if I don't like it, then she's gonna go from A tier down to C. Easiest S tier of my life. Is it because she strongly resembles China? <laughs> no. Well, anyways, I'm just gonna put her in B tier just to quickly end this. Michelle just called me to go eat. Oh, are you sure you don't want to invite me along as well? Yeah, what about us? Maybe next time when we finish this tier list. I gotta let her know to make more next time, okay? Oh, it's not Same meeting time next week? Works for me. For sure. I'm gonna end the call now. Have a good night, you two. Hey, yo, what's with this uh, anime ass? This is, okay, so this was the first one. This was a good video. Uh, this is a good video, Limited. Let me know, let me know in, the, in the comments below when the next one drops. I'm definitely interested in a continuing conversation. Uh, with legitimate reasoning besides she's hot, she's a dom, uh, she was my first waifu, she's hot, she's hot, she's hot. Like, I, I need more than that for a waifu. That, me personally, a lot of people don't think about it. They'll just be like, oh, Mona, big ass, S tier. Oh, Jean, big titties, S tier. So there's definitely got to be more than that for me. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the list and my uh, comments about it. I will see you guys when I see you guys. Have a